That shit crazy as fuck. Y'all, it's got to be Kondo. It is, because everybody, because I went to the other Circle K, and they were like, um, everybody kept talking about the shots that they heard, so evidently what the niggas hit them with was some bitch shit, because niggas was, were way down the road, and they were like, shit, we heard the shots. I said, how the fuck y'all heard the shots way down here? They were like, hey, whatever the niggas had was bitch shit. Listen, check it out now. God damn it, man. Remember when Quan Rondo said was gonna voodoo me? This fool might have ended up voodooing himself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this fool can't stop having bad luck. Now, he's having a really bad week, okay? He performed at his first show since the incident where King Von lost his life. And to be honest, this was a sight for sore eyes. There was more people on stage and in the crowd. There was more people that would attend a bar mitzvah or at least a goddamn baby shower. This could have been done on Zoom. Now, after he performed at the Struggle concert, because to be honest, let's keep it real, it's not like Quando Rondo got a bunch of hits, and also, even if people were going to check out a Quando Rondo show, they just don't want to be one of the fucking crash dummies or test targets that could be shot when somebody tries to spin the block. Okay? So nobody showed up. So he... Talked to the people in the crowd. He said, yo, thank you for showing up, whatever, whatever. Then he dipped. Now, listen, this is where Quando Rondo is moving wrong. Because if you knew that your life was in danger, right? And you're doing your first show ever since you killed or your homie killed King Von. You would think that you're either moving with security or at least you're going to the show. And immediately from the show, you're going straight home. No. Quando Rondo and the 50 niggas on stage, they pulled up to a convenience store, a gas station. They were just mobbing. Clearly, they forgot there was a threat on his life or probably thought no one was going to be as brazen to try to kill him while he's with 50 dudes. Well, bullets got no names, and apparently somebody passing by on the highway let off a whole heap of shots, okay? Now, they're saying that it could be over 50 rounds that got fired. Some people say it's up to 80. But this is coming from eyewitnesses. I haven't heard the cops actually confirm anything. And you know how it get when niggas start, like, you know, retelling the story. They put a lot of gas on it. So I don't know. By the end of tomorrow, you can hear that he dodged 100 shots. Okay? You don't know. Anyway, he was shot at. Now, he wasn't hit. But there was somebody in his entourage that got hit in the hand. And he was then brought to the hospital. Now, let me tell y'all something. Between me and y'all, this is what I heard. This is the third time they've tried to kill Quando Rondo since November. Basically, people are following his whereabouts, looking for where he's at via like social media. And when they do find where he's at, they're letting off shots. Yeah, I don't want to go to a concert. I don't want that dude trying to pump gas next to me. I don't want Quando around in my vicinity at all. Now, I've heard that he's beefed up security, but how serious could security be if after a show, y'all are chilling in the streets, acting like the only threat was at the show? Like the killers bought a ticket and said, oh, we can't get him here. Let's go home and go wait for the next show. No, the killers or the potential killers, they try to follow them that they could shoot up wherever they were going to go, okay? All I'm saying, man, pray for peace, but Quando Rondo need to stop the BS. Your life is being targeted. After you go to a show, bring your ass inside and all of that voodoo you was talking about putting on me, you need to find somebody to reverse that junk off of you, okay? Because I don't think this is slowing down anytime soon, and again, Pray for peace. Get in comments, you guys like and subscribe to Bullshit Economics. Man, third time he's being shot at. Only the first time it's being reported by like TMZ or something like that. Okay, it's more academics. Get in comments, you guys like, subscribe.